Our team was approached by a doctor at the Texas Medical Center who operates in Uganda, Africa, on premature infants who are born with something called gastroschisis. Uh, gastroschisis is a congenital birth defect where infants' intestines are born outside of their bodies. Um, here in the United States, we have a very clear, easy solution, but the bag that is used to treat this condition costs over $250, and that's not including the costs of um, actually taking it to the other to Uganda or another country. So our team was given the opportunity to come up with a lower cost alternative um, to this solution um, using lower cost materials, um, making 3D printing things um, here in our engineering design kitchen and coming up with something that can be used in a low resource setting by untrained medical professionals. So there's three components, main components to our prototype. Um, you have the silicone bag um, that's sewed together from a sheet. There's a sewn pocket, sewn sides, and a sewn top. Um, inside the pocket is our 3D printed adjustable ring. Um, so this ring actually adjusts from a larger diameter to a smaller diameter. Um, and so this ring is important to adjust um, because babies are born with different sizes of holes in, the, uh, in their abdominal wall. And so you want, we wanted one bag that would treat as many babies as possible. Another thing is because it makes it easier for people to use. Often it can be difficult to want to stuff the intestines in here. So with a wider opening, it's a lot easier to put the intestines inside. The top is sewed, like I said, and then covered with a reusable clamp. So this clamp just screws on, it's fairly easy to use. It has grooves inside that um, hold the bag tightly um, so that it doesn't slip out, um, and it actually hangs from an IV pole. Um, so it really makes treatment more accessible um, because every hospital in Uganda has access to an IV pole, and so you're able to hang this bag really easily. If we are able to expand this project out to different other African countries, we know that it's actually more common in Uganda and Malawi because it occurs, the, the gastroschisis occurs uh, primarily in premature infants and so we know that in those countries that it has a higher uh, incidence rate. Um, and so we would definitely would like to see our bag being used in these countries um, uh, to help lower, lower the mortality rate.